You guys partake? No, thank you. I'll partake. <clears throat> what are these tags? What? English tournament arc. Dislikes goat cheese, the sus guy. <laughs> we should change it to not the sus guy. Not the sus guy, stop asking. So people feel like, wait, oh, he probably gets this a lot. This must be really annoying for him. Gonna be playing a video game today. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's, f I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me lately. Uh, gonna be playing Disc Room today. Uh, this coming week, you will be able to see me on Ron Boo's Generation Loss streams. Uh, I'm going to be playing a pretty major part, <laughs> but I have an accent. But yeah, I'm really excited for it. It's been something that um, it's been in the works for a very long time. I cannot wait to see the whole thing play out because it is a three day event. May 24th, May 26th, and May 28th, 6 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to be in it. Can you teach us how to beatbox? Yeah, sure. First you go like this. Then you go like this. It's fucking easy. When are you gonna play Tears of the Kingdom? I never. Let's just get that out of the way. I wanna say that because then if I ever do play it, you'll be surprised. But if I don't ever play it, then I already told you I wasn't, so let's just say that. Don't make promises you can't keep. Oh, I absolutely can make the promise that I'm not gonna play Tears of the Kingdom. I can promise you that, right? But, like, if it happens, then whoa. What? It's Tears of the Kingdom. He's here. Then I'll do a huge, elaborate, annoying intro. Where I dress as Link. And it's a full cam. And it's like... Dun, 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 dun. I play the song, and it's like, oh my god, ha ha ha, he's gonna play it. And I'll, like, I'll, I'll bring out the, uh, the ocarina. And I'll learn a bunch of songs for the ocarina. Dude, do you hate this game? <laughs> no. Why? I'm not mocking it. I'm not. I'm not mocking. The, what are you talking about? No, I don't. What? Turn your cam on and do the rump shake. That's like kind of funny, but no, not today. Is that, is it, does that mean what I think it does? Like just, I'm just gonna shake my ass. Is that that is that what it is? That's what it is, right? It's just, I'm gonna shake my butt. You just have to live. That's it. The only thing you do. It's the, it's the Sans fight. I guess it kind of is. It is kind of the same Undertale concept, isn't it? It kind of feels like that. I, I'm doing pretty damn good already. This is the first room. You would have you would have died at five seconds. Alright. That's alright. Alright, survive ten seconds. That's all I have to do. I think it usually shows the developer time. The person that made the game. Okay, I was looking at chat. Shut up. Four seconds? Yeah, I, I got it. I already did it. I beat it already. In fact, I should just hurry up and get to the next room because... This guy sucks at this. I just did it! I'm over time right now. Alright, die from four disc types and survive ten seconds. Easy, let's go. That was just a practice one. See, I didn't even get that move. That's why I get to, couldn't do it. All right, hold A to dash through discs. See, you give me one button that's a dash and an analog stick, I'm gonna beat every single fucking record in this entire game. Is this Omega Gaming Weekend? No. In fact, this is Omega Short Weekend. This is exceptionally small weekend. Oh, I want to bring. I want to talk about this. This is really important. This is food related, so I know everyone's going to be really excited to hear that. I know at least 10 people in the chat heard it was food related, so they just, yes, let's go. Okay. Uh, let me ask a question. I don't, I don't want to be rude. I'm trying, I'm going to try not to be. Does anyone, has anybody in this chat, and of all the 13 plus thousand people that are here right now, 13,000 of you, have you ever, ever bought heavy pulp orange juice? Any of you? A single person in the whole chat because honestly i think i think that's like my first test to see if you're a, a psycho if you drink heavy pulp orange juice is that like is that weird to say that 
I'm not talking about medium pulp. I'm talking heavy pulp. Heavy pulp. One of the mods? Wait. VR Josh. What the fuck, dude? I don't... Look, I don't mind pulp. Light pulp is good. Medium pulp. But at some point, it's. I feel like I'm drinking wet wood shavings in my orange juice. I feel like I'm drinking bugs. It's heavy pulp is 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 ridiculous. It's it's sludge. It's not even orange juice. I like pulp. Pulp is fine, but too much of too much is is too much. In a smoothie? All right. Yep. Okay. I could see a smoothie because you want some of the actual orange in it. I get that. But anytime I've ever seen heavy pulp get poured, it reminds me of sour milk where you pour it and it's like you know what I'm talking about. It's that like slop, 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 slop. Hey, asshole, I'm drinking milk right now. Don't ruin it. <laughs> I just imagine you with a 24 ounce glass of milk. That lasts a long time. Oh, it, 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 does it recharge? I think it does. This is way better than uh, Dash. What's this game? This game is called Disc Room. And, uh,. <laughs> You can get it right now. <laughs> On. <laughs> you know. Die to the golden disc. That's actually true. Are you ever going to do a beer drinking stream? No. Oh. Alright. I did it. Well, you want me to like rate beers? I mean, I could do that. I could. Do you want me to do a beer drinking tier list? Like where, the, where they belong? Not just American beers. No, I know. I'm thinking maybe the top, the yeah, most popular three or four per country. That's very doable considering that's probably four or five thousand different beers. Uh, sure. Irma thinks there are like 20 countries. No, I just said there was, that was thousands of beers. Every country has its own beer. If, okay, if you name a country and then go to Google and type in, uh, what is this country's beer it's gonna give you a like oh it's uh 20 percent hops it's a flavored with uh pineapple extract i don't know it's gonna be something <laughs> all right well we can't let's just say most <laughs> just say most countries that's i mean come on you got you can't you can't take literally you can't i, I mean like well, i don't ever speak in literal terms i'm speaking in like most mostly terms like, every country's got a beer. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, what about this country? This country doesn't have a beer. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. Well, don't say that. Well, I don't know. D literal Andy? You said every. I Yeah, but, like, I'm sure there probably is something. Name me a country right now. Just, I'm going to... Okay, let's, let's, I'm gonna, let's do a random country. Uh, okay. What is... Spain, Spain's beer, Spanish beer. Oh, interesting. What's Spain's most popular beer? It is called a San Miguel. A San Miguel Clasica is the most traditionally and best known among the Spanish population. Here we go. What's the most popular beer in Brazil? Skull, uh, Brahma. Antarctica? Nova Shin? Huh? These are Brazilian beers. Those are craft Brazilian beers. And they're probably fucking wonderful. Okay? Yeah, but not every... Okay, not every single country on Earth will... I Look, there's some countries that... Not, this is not gonna happen. Backtrack and Barry. No, it's called. Uh, it's called Nitpick Nancy. Is what we got over here. I also have some more interesting news to share with everybody. To share with the class. I. <clears throat> you remember when I told you that I had never had White Castle before? I did. I did have it. I have to get to twenty seconds. I had White Castle. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. I want to give it a rating. This shit was at least, at least a B plus. 
at least. I don't understand the naysayers. It's like... It's fine. It's good. It's just yummy. It's just a delicious, simple, just little cheeseburger slider. Shit! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You know what? I, I'll, give you, I'll give you a hot take. I think a lot of people don't want to admit that they like simple things because it's like makes them simple for some reason. Like, oh, White Castle. No, nah, fuck, gross. Sucks. Nah, it's not. It's, it's stupid. It's like, I almost feel like a lot of people, they probably do kind of like it, but if they say they like something that's too simple, does that make me kind of like boring or something? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Don't worry. Just eat it. Now, some of you probably really do think it sucks, and that's fine. And I know there's a lot of you that have eaten it. That were, you know, maybe you were in, maybe, maybe you're in the car, or maybe you got went back to when your friends were all there, and you all took a bite at the same time, and two of your friends were like, "Oh, oh, gross!" And you were sitting there silently. I kind of like this. You were like, "Yeah, it's like, eh, whatever. It's too hyped up." Who is he talking to? You. This is. I'm addicted to trying to do this, but I just can't. Right, I'm gonna be quiet until I do this. Why did I? Why did I didn't pick it up? Ollie is calling me out here. <laughs> She's saying, "But how did you get the White Castle?" Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Uh-oh, 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 I'm in big fucking trouble now. It was the frozen shit from the grocery store. And I still thought it was a B plus. Fucking hate me all you want. I don't care. Go ahead. Go ahead. You don't like me anymore? You don't like me anymore? I never did. Oh! Were you high when you ate the frozen White Castle? No. No, I was not. You know, time that person up for even asking that question. Talking, we'll be talking about drugs, talking about marijuana or something. Devil, the devil, devil, the devil. Wait, this is important. One of the mods, Trotter. I also checked out the beer thing. A sip is about four milliliters and a can of beer is 12 ounces or 341 milliliters. One sip from 100 beer cans would be roughly just a bit over one beer at 14 ounces. Really? One sip is about four milliliters. I could probably do that then. The one thing that I'm afraid of of doing that stream is offending an entire country. I, I definitely don't, I, I don't want to like do the, oh, the what country has the best tasting beer test? And some countries like, they're ready. Oh my God, I can't wait to see he's going to have our beer. I take a sip out of it and I'm like, oh, I feel like that would really disappoint a lot of people. What about an orange juice? Didn't you promise a BLT today? A few people are asking about it. I love how that's what people are asking about. This community, I love this community. It's just, uh, hey dude, like, um, where's the BLT stream? Like, I've, we're, I'm just, we're just kind of curious about it. We really just want to know, like, if that was bullshit or not, or if we should expect that, or I'm kind of waiting around to see. It's like, I don't know, man. But I don't, I don't like any of you individually, okay? I like you collectively. Make that really clear. Guys, I don't even have the ingredients to make a BLT. Doesn't that seem strange? But it's true. Think about the ingredients of a BLT. I don't have them. I don't have... Well, I mean, you need sub roll. Oh, no, you don't. I don't have... No bread? No, I need to go to the store. I don't... No bread, no bacon, no lettuce, no tomatoes. The only thing that's on a BLT that I own right now is mayo. Just use the mayo, dude. So you want me to take a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich, remove the entire sandwich, and eat a spoonful of mayonnaise. So why don't you just say what you want me to do? Bro, eat a spoonful of mayonnaise. It would be funny. Childish. Also, I, I, the ad campaign that a lot of mayonnaise is doing right now, they're doing kind of like the Reese's campaigns. Like, the kind of like, sorry, not sorry, not sorry, yeah, mayo, not sorry. It's like, it's just mayonnaise, and I like it. I don't care. Oh, those of us that, like, dip our sandwiches in mayo, I don't do that. 
I love mayonnaise, but I don't do it. Not sorry. No, stop. Hey, can you wish me luck? I got finals tomorrow. You do... You do... <laughs> you do you. <laughs> no. I can't. I can't. I was going to say, you do as best as a job as you can. God damn it. You do... You... I can't tell you you're gonna do good. I don't know what if you didn't study. I don't want to be responsible if you don't do well. Do your best. I hope you fucking studied for it and get a, at least a C or a B. You'll be all right. Can you please explain the stream tags? Hates having enough fiber. I don't know. You don't like goat cheese. I very, very, very much don't. I. Goat cheese to me is, and it's so, I hate it. If I ever am out at a restaurant or something, or if I'm with a bunch of people and hanging out and somebody gets like a goat cheese appetizer and everybody's eating it, it's like, I, I don't want that. Or if there's like salads or something that has it on it and people see that I'm doing the thing where you take the knife and you just scrape it off to the side. I just don't, I, I must have, my, my DNA must be different than yours because for you know what I mean like we must have a completely different uh, however like the food DNA part of your brain is because I I find goat cheese to be absolutely revolting and I mean and but I like blue cheese and you think that that a lot of you think that's absolutely revolting you only like blue cheese to be different yeah yeah okay one of my favorite flavors on all right, all right I'm shutting that person down that person needs to get that person needs to get shut down right now. Blue cheese and hot sauce is my favorite flavor combination in the world. If you had, if there was a flavor tier list, no, sorry, it's not blue raspberry, stupid. It's. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You do you. All right. That's the end of the story. Oh, <gasps> holy shit! You guys need to know this. I have to tell you this, and I don't care. You can call me like, like brand shill Andy. I don't care. Do you want to know what the best hot sauce in the world is? In the world. The best hot sauce in the world is Tabasco, but it's a very specific Tabasco. It's one that I have not had. Oh, and I just burped a little. It's one that I haven't... Ooh, this is weird. It's a different flavor of Tabasco. Are you ready? <clears throat> the Tabasco habanero sauce is un fucking believable it is probably the single greatest hot sauce ever invented trust me it is uh, there's a lot of truths here and i'm so glad i am so glad that a lot of you know the basco habanero is it it makes everything better everything did somebody say you've definitely never had it? What? Why would I say I love it? That's weird. I can absorb a disc. I said I've never had it? What? You just said you never had it. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Wait, what's happening? You've n I've never... This... You... Uh, somebody can give me a clip or something? I said I... The bottle's gone. You definitely said that, buddy. That means you're like mad. If you say buddy at the end of a sentence, that means like you're pissed at me. What? I'm serious. Like, when did I say that? Tabasco is one. Yep. The best hot sauce in the world is Tabasco, but it's a very specific Tabasco. It's one that I have not had. <laughs> what? Why did I say that? I'm so confused. I feel like I feel like you edited this clip and made me say that. But I had to have been talking about something else. The best hot sauce in the world is Tabasco, but it's a very specific Tabasco. It's one that I have not had. I I think what I was trying to say is it's one that I haven't talked about. One that I have not said, I think, is one that I have not said. Had Yeah, I said that completely wrong. It's okay. The best hot sauce in the world is Tabasco, but it's a very specific Tabasco. It's one that I have not had. One that I have not said on stream. 
or had till recently. That's what it was. Yes. That's what it is. Thank you. It was one that I've not had till recently. I got cut off because somebody made fun of me. It was the one that I have because I, I, me and Holly just started eating it like over the last month or two. That's what it was. Remember, you would probably fail Willy Wonka's chocolate factory test. No, I wouldn't. I'm not touching anything there. Are you kidding me? I don't know what the fuck is in that, all that shit. It never lasting gobstopper. It never ends. Why? What's in it? Well, wow, that's a secret. I don't want to put, I'm not putting it in my mouth, Willy. It's a secret. It lasts forever. Why? I don't, I'm not eating that until I know what's in it. Uh, how, how would I do this? How are you supposed to beat this one? Oh, okay. Slow. Dude, this one sucks. Wow. Okay. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm alive. Damn it. I didn't have any left. I got it. Nice. Thank God. 20 seconds on this one. No way. Not a chance. I almost had it. Have you seen all the memes about your stream getting nuked the other day? Yeah. What's going on? What was that, dude? What the hell was that? Yeah, and now there is a hard limiter on my computer. I ain't, that, that ain't happening again, ever again. I generally hope you're not too stressed out about that. It, it sucked. I had it on really loud, but I have no, I still don't know what happened. I, I, dude, I went, I did a full like diagnostic on my entire audio equipment and system. Nothing, nothing. But I, there's a limiter on the stream now. I ain't having that happen again. Yeah, I've seen a lot of the memes, and it's fun to laugh at them, right? Because like one of the things that we said is it sounded like somebody shot a grenade launcher into my room. <laughs> it's just like it does. It really does. It sounds like I was like, it sounds like I was fucking like somebody threw a grenade in here. But you gotta be fucking careful with that kind of shit. That shit is not good. And whether it was the game or the game communicating with the computer or something, I don't know. But I, I ain't ha that can't happen again. It was that was fucking crazy. How, what do I do here? Whether it was a rare, incredibly rare bug in Devil May Cry 3 HD collection. I don't know. If it is a rare bug like that, though. Whoa. Whoa. Really? Like, holy shit. That's that's ridiculous. I woke up laughing the next day because it was so funny. I'm glad people think it's funny, but at the end of the day, that's you got to be careful with that kind of shit. Money. 20. Let's get 20 right here. Let's get 30. Oof. Yeah, that's what we call split second decision making. Whatever. Survive 120 seconds. This one, this wants me to fast forward. 180? I thought it was 120. I was just lost right there. Guys, keep going. I'm just gonna keep going. Wait, one. How was that 93? It's not 120? 60 plus... Oh, I was reading the... Whatever. It's two minutes. Pal. What's with you guys today and you calling me pal and shit? Like, okay, pal. All right, buddy. Hey, listen, pal. Hey, buddy. What's going on here? Hey, listen, pal. 
All right, bud. Hey, hey, buddy. But he said, you don't call me your friend. Don't call me your friend. Don't call me your friend. I'm not your friend. Like, why is that so, that, that's so funny how they're like that. That's the thing to like really, you know, get into somebody's skin. You know, you just called me a friend and pal. And I'm not, I'm not your friend at all. You don't even know. Hey, don't say that. Don't call me your friend. I'm not a friend of yours. How dare you call me a friend of yours? Do you think it's possible that an alien could be watching your stream? Uh, no. I don't think so. And a network reaching that far into space? I mean, that would imply that the alien has some kind of Wi-Fi. Or are you implying that there's an alien here now among us is watching the stream? They're on Earth, is what you mean. What do you mean, like, another planet? Oh, I maxed it out. Three minutes is the max. You're the first pick from mankind to talk to the aliens. Uh, what would your first choice of words be? Do, okay, do they understand me? Is there, a, is there a part of the movie, or is there a part of the, the scenario you're you're painting here, where the aliens go? Hello, human. Like they can talk. Like, oh yeah, we now we know your uh, your language now. Like they can just like they sense it and they're okay. Now I can speak English. Is that what you're employed? So that we can talk to each other. And they can understand context, what I'm saying. Uh, first thing I would say is, get out. Get out while you still can. This place is fucked. Get out of here. Leave quick. Leave quick. You gotta get out of here now. You gotta get out of here now. I don't know what's gonna happen to you. Get out of here now, quick. Abandon this place. Abandon it quick. And then before they left, I'd be like, you got anything weird that you can give me that I can sell for like a million dollars? And then say, take me with you. <laughs> take me with you. Take me with you. Yeah, and they fly away, and I'm like, oh, yes, I get to finally go with the alien. And the big beam comes down, and I'm looking up. Oh, joyous of me. And they vaporize me. That's that part of the movie. How would you try to explain the sus guy meme to an alien who had no prior knowledge of humanity? Hmm. Well, how do you explain humanity to an alien? What kind of life form is this? They can understand me, but do they understand anything about the planet? Do they know what water is? But I, we would have to start at zero. Like, we drink this and eat stuff, or we die. This water here, this liquid in this glass, every single being on this planet needs to consume a certain amount of this a day, or we die. I think that's where you start. Honestly, that's probably where you start. And then they go, hmm, interesting. Now we know exactly what to obliterate. First, go for the water source. No, 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 no. No, oh, you, you bastard alien. How dare you? Yeah, we already went over how a hot sauce would be an act of war. We already talked about what food or what beverage you should not give an alien because they're going to see it as a, like an attack. How would you explore, ex explain porn to aliens? I don't know. Uh, I, you, I don't know. You'd probably be like, "What would, would they wouldn't be? I don't know. What kind of life form is this? I don't think they'd even. Do they know what what sex is? Would they? I don't know. What what kind of life form is it? Not again. Not again. Not again. All right. All right. Fine. 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 Let's talk about fucking subway or whatever. <laughs> Okay, explain this to them. This is great. Dr. Clay, this is fucking hilarious. Okay, this is actually like a 10 out of 10 joke from Dr. Clay. Uh, I gotta put this. We gotta talk about this, because yeah. <laughs> okay, Dr. Clay says, how would you explain this to the aliens? Okay, let's try. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, excuse me, um, human. What? Uh, what is this? Well, I mean... Wait, well, you know, I mean, it's, it's a, uh, it's a video game where we, uh, we were shooting and, uh, and killing. Well, it's, it's a, uh, do you find this amusing to shoot and kill aliens? Nah, no, of course not. It, see, those are, um, those are frogs. What is a frog? Oh, it's a, it's a life form here, and it's a frog, and that's just like a jokey, we, like, oh, look, it's a frog. So you think it's funny? You, what, you think f frogs uh, are something that, sh that you kill? No, 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 we don't. I find that to be fucking disgusting and not amusing at all. 
In fact, this looks kind of like Jerry. And Jerry's like standing behind him. No, of course it's not. They're crabs. Imagine if Space Invaders was the thing that got us like alien nuked. That is the plot of Pixels. What? Oh, they're uh, it's little cartoon characters. They're not real. It's not it's not a thing. It's uh they're not what is, I don't even understand what they're supposed to be depicting. First you said it was some type of animal, which was ridiculous to even consider that concept. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm honestly I'm just trying to make it so you don't fucking shoot me with that thing you're pointing at me. Take me with you. Take me with you. Humanity is going to delete our entire media catalog when the aliens show up. Yeah. There are a lot of media about how aliens, we wipe them out. They show up and we try to get rid of them as fast as possible. They're awful. We like hate aliens. We hate them. We hate aliens. We paint them in such this crazy light where they show up and, and fucking kill all of us and we have to kill them. How would we explain the thousands of pieces of media about how much aliens are, are, are terrible and they're here to kill us all? Or I feel like if you were an alien, you'd show up and you would see some of this shit and be like, we need to get the fuck out of here, man. This is what they think we're doing. This is what they think that we need to get out of here as soon as possible. We Let's go to the next one. How come you made the aliens stop sounding like nerds? Because I want to stay alive when they show up. They're going to watch my stream. And they're going to be like, why did he make us sound like that? Why are we standing straight up? Why, why is our posture always straight up? And we always have this kind of a voice. That's not, that's nothing what we're like. Why did you do that? You don't understand. You called them idiots. <laughs> take, take me with you. Take me with you. I promise. I'm, I'm a good human. And I go down, right? I'm like, no, please. I go down on my knees. No, you take me with you. No, I, I, you don't want any of the other humans. They're awful. They're, they're, they're terrible. They're filthy. But here's another thing, right? In reality, what do you do with the take me with you guy if the aliens leave? Right? What do you do with the take me with you guy? Do I get in trouble? Right? Do I do I get like a, arrested for that? The aliens show up and I'm like, take me with you. Leave. Leave with me. And all these awful, horrible pieces of shit. This filthy fucking humans on this planet. Take me with you. And then the ship goes away and it's like, hey, dude, what the fuck was up with that? And what the hell do we do about that? It's not illegal to want to leave Earth. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, does that change if... All right, but how does that change for you guys? Like, do... do Okay, so does it change for you if... So the aliens land and... The take me with you guy goes and walks over to the other side where the aliens are, turns around and stands with them shoulder to shoulder and is like, huh. Does that change it for you? Are the aliens killing people? Yeah, let's let's talk about like, like a, a total takeover alien invasion scenario. And the take me with you guy is there. Are the aliens evil? Alright, let me beat this level and we'll talk. Are the aliens... <laughs> Are the aliens hot? Uh, I don't... <laughs> How many of you are going to be the take me with you guy? Or girl? Huh? Oh no, now we got a whole lot of traitors to humanity here now. Very interesting. Now we got some traitors to humanity all of a sudden because the aliens are hot. Did somebody say that the aliens party? Um, no, not at all. Not in the slightest. Childish behavior. What is this partying? Loud sound effects come out of device. Beverages are served that make you stupid? What is this nonsense? Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. But then that happens. But then one of the aliens during the course of the time, during the course of the movie, or whatever, is seen smoking out of a bong. 
You know what I'm saying? They got to cut to one of these aliens smoking out of a bong. And then that alien is the one that joins the humans. But what the hell? You've got all this alien technology and you've got you're so smart and you you know everything about the aliens, but you're just smoking a bong as a comedy character. Fuck, we can't get you to help us at all, even though you're on our team. You're the comic relief of this whole scenario. Dude, this happens in the movie Paul. That you just described literally the exact the whole movie. That's the whole movie? I cannot believe we're going to see Area 51. <laughs> they, uh, hi. they do exist. <laughs> I'm Paul. And I really need your help. I don't know. We're on quite a tight schedule. What's the matter, Clive? There is an alien in the kitchenette making bagels and coffee. Do you want tea? <laughs> no, I don't want tea. Ooh, Marmite. What if we wake up and find him inserting a probe into our anus? They don't do that. You want one of these? Huh? Huh? Oh, what Sorry. the fuck? I'm closing in. I can feel it. In 24 hours, he's going to wish he never set foot on planet Earth. I want that little green prick dead ASAP. Hi there. <laughs> There's a girl outside. He, he, he cannot be from space. It's not possible. Are they looking? Are they looking right now? <laughs> I got my people primed and ready to pick me up. So what happens if you get caught? No, 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 no. They're going to cut out my brain. No. <laughs> it's kind of a buzzkill. Let's lighten the mood, shall we? Clive, when did you last get laid? <laughs> the individual that you're traveling with is highly dangerous. He's not dangerous. He's kind of rude. Oh! oh! What? This is small on my planet. And a couple of times I've seen him scratch his space fan ball. <laughs> Wait, why was that edited? That was weirdly edited. Sometimes I've seen him scratch his space man balls. This is small on my planet. And a couple of times I've seen him scratch his space fan balls. Why do they edit and splice it together weirdly? He's just talking about his space fan balls. Why are we holding hands? So we look like a family. Hey, we're just a couple of regular guys walking down the street. Where's the bong? Small cowboy. We got company. Give me the alien. Get your own alien. Where's the bong? Say, this is the most fun I have ever had. I like this song. Stoke the fire. There, there's no bong in this movie. Just watch. <laughs> it's a miracle. Oh. Oh. Why would you do that? I'm not gonna eat a dead bird, am I? There's no bong in that movie. You did that joke. This is you. I gotta watch that. I'm watching that movie like tonight. <laughs> you would have no idea how often this happens though. I do this almost every single night. You, and I told you this before. It sucks so bad. If this is a warning to you all. Stop. Get off of YouTube shorts. Get off of TikTok. For, and I'm telling you why. Those of you that scroll that shit in bed, you can relate to this. Those and I've only I've done it only a few times, but my God, I have fallen asleep to a YouTube short that just doesn't ever end over and over and over and over. It never stops in a place for like four hours. It's just like get it. I, then you, can you set a limit to how much something can play? Is there like a okay? A a after 50 times, it should stop. Does it just loop forever? And then I wake up and it's just burnt in my brain this 25 second clip of just the exact same cadences and the beat and the whole thing. It's just, ah. Oh. And then do you guys do this too? Where you, you, you refuse to give it up. You'll wake up with one eye open and painfully ha put this like decrepit finger out and Slowly push the screen up and then slowly go back to bed. It's just this, this, this like, I almost feel like it's one of those, like an old man finger from like the old animated movies. 
where it's like all bony and bent and like it's like all decrepit and uh, the fingernail is like five inches long and you know what's going to happen but for some reason you don't just turn it off just close the just close it just get off of youtube why, why no i just i want to see i want to see where the next food hack is real quick and then i'm going right to bed i swear oh oh that's how they do it uh, please repeat a hundred times in my sleep and fuck up my dreams and screw up my brain in the process. Shit, I got caught. Where's the sweaty pick you promised? Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll put it in Discord or something in like... Months. <laughs> Anyone told us about the skunk dream? Oh, that's right. I, I I mean, I told it in, um, what, pre-stream or the Discord or something? I had a dream that, hold on. Now, I mean, the extent of the whole dream, it really is not that in, it's not intriguing. It's not wild. It's not something that is going to make you go, wow, what a crazy dream. I had a dream that they were what I thought were cats in the room. Like, oh, yeah, look, there's just cats in here. And they were just kind of walking around and hanging out. I'm like, oh, yeah, of course. They're, they're, here's, here are the cats. And it turned out, though, that they were skunks. And I looked down and realized that they were skunks. And was, like, pet... I had been petting these. Like, oh, hey, like, hi, like, kitty. It was a skunk. But they were cats in my brain. And they were really friendly. They wasn't, like, weird. It was just, yeah, I just... Hanging out with some skunks. There was a baby skunk, from what I remember. And I remember, I'm petting the baby skunk's head. And it was doing that thing. Where it was closing its eyes and leaning its head up. You know, just barely holding its head up. Like, oh, yeah, that, I like that. That's it. And then I woke up. What does that mean? I have not seen a skunk. I have not talked about a skunk. I have not heard anything about a skunk. Why did I have a dream that I was hanging out with skunks and we were cool? It was like, oh yeah, this is cool. We're friends. It means you smell. Shit, I get I, that thing gets me every time. Just don't move. All right, this part's really easy. There's no world where I should actually get hit by any of this. The next phase, on the other hand, is awful. Sucks you into. The oh, I got it. No, I didn't. Did I? Big bang. I think I did it. Okay. That freaks me out big time because of a couple days ago. Oh, cool. All right. 